Hey guys, I'm going to get all nostalgic on, on you. Is that how you guys say it? Nostalgic? Nostalgic? Um, as you guys know, I've been preparing a slideshow for Austin's wedding. And um, it's been awesome to be able to flash back to Austin so little. Um, I was able to see the video that they did. Um, I've never heard of them until I think it's, I don't know if it's a new thing or not, but basically it's a first look video and it's basically Austin seeing Allie for the first time in her wedding dress. And, um, I just wanted to share my feelings, um, and how time flies so fast. Um, way back when, <laughs> Austin was born in 98 and I think back of when those when that was going on and I was married to Austin's dad biological father and um, there was a lot of stuff that was going on um, Austin himself is um, definitely one of my favorite people in the world <laughs> and I say that because he has a way um, about him even when he was little of um, loving people. You would never know it when he hit his teen years and um, being such a turkey to being such a turkey and stuff to, to his siblings. He's been kind of hard to be around when he hit his teens, um, but I just want to share how proud I am of this kid. Um, he used to go every other weekend to his biological father's and there was stuff that used to happen. Um, and it should have bothered him, but it didn't. In fact, there was a time after Jake and I got married that he would come back and I could see things that if it was me, it would bother me. And so as a mother, you know, I just kind of did the whole comfort thing and just trying to get down on his level and, you know, I asked him when he was, he was little, he didn't seem too bothered by what happened, but any other kid it would probably bother. And I asked him, I says, are you okay? I, you know, I'm so sorry that happened or whatever. And he goes, it's okay. And he said, my, my dad, my dad lives here. And, um, I think from that moment I had realized that Austin is just, a different kid. I mean, I know that he probably blocked a lot of that out to function going to and from. He doesn't remember a lot of his childhood and that's probably him um, protecting himself, which is a blessing in disguise because he, he missed a lot of things, thank, thankfully. Um, but as he's, you know, a year ago, he was kind of not living the way he should. He was kind of messing around with drugs and drinking and I was worried about him. Um, of course, I can't make his choices for me. I can tell him how much I love him and hope he makes good choices and things like that. But at the end of the day, I um, can't make his choices for him. And he ended up getting a job um, as a lifeguard in, in Idaho is where it started. Um, he, start, he got certified in Idaho, and when we moved to Utah, he took a job at um, the local city's rec center. And um, I think he treated that job as a passion. Like he learned so many so many things and um, he gained some friends there and things like that. And Austin met Allie um, there. Allie takes care of um, handicapped people and every Monday she would take her kids there to swim and Austin would come home mom there's this girl there like we talk about her and I'm like what are you gonna do what are you gonna do and then finally he asked her out um and they you know over the next year and a half Austin was still making some crazy choices and family was concerned about him and um I still you know on my knees every night about my kids not forgetting him in my prayers and I think that, um, I don't know if it was prayers that helped, but 
Allie came coming into his life and they they've been dating for like a year and a half or some something crazy but it um Allie brings the good out in Austin and Austin brings the good out in Allie they are young um to be getting married they are young but I also agree that when you know you know and your choices their choices are theirs and they lead their lives not me and so from the get go, I have always supported them in any decision that they go with. Um, for those of you that didn't know, I became pregnant as a teenager. And so, yeah, I'm a teenage mom. I never served an LDS mission. Um, I am LDS, but I never served an LDS mission. I did get pregnant as a teenager. Um, I got married young. Um, I went through an abusive relationship and came out of that stronger. I learned a lot um, through that. And through that, I also, I've got some issues from that. I don't know if I'll ever come out of that. But one thing that did come out of that was Austin and Curtis. And knowing that, um, you know, Curtis has his own issues and I, I have you know, closet vlogs where I mention Curtis, but I don't talk a lot about Austin and how I feel about Austin. Um, but overlooking, you know, the last week or so, a couple weeks, I've been going through pictures and taking pictures and trying to decide which pictures to use on the slideshow and, and trying to include every highlight I could, but there are so many of them. And one thing I did notice going through all these pictures was the Austin. There's very few that I can find with him alone. He's always with a sibling. He's always with friends. So rarely do I have him taking pictures or me taking pictures of him alone. Which just shows his character. Um, and I love it. But I had decided that I was going to focus more on them as adults together than I was going to um, on their lives. Um, so this video has been, um, maybe I didn't use all those pictures, but I feel like I um, found that little boy that um, I, I miss so much. You know, they hit teenage years and they kind of turn into jerks and... <laughs> They're mean to everybody and they don't help out and they're, they won't do their chores and they don't pick up their room and they become hoarders and they don't do their laundry when they're told and all this stuff, right? Um, I feel like I've lost who I knew is Austin. So going through his pictures from brand new baby to now has just been um, a, a blessing to me through um, the last couple weeks. At for you know today I just kind of today and yesterday kind of struggled with the idea of making this video for his wedding not this video but um, this slideshow and I wasn't sure how in the heck I'm supposed to go through this right because I'm cut down on time I work 40 hours a week I have a vlog that I try to maintain and I try to maintain my vlog for my sanity for those any of you that know um, it, it keeps me very level-headed. I'm not going anywhere. You know, I, I know a lot of YouTubers, some of our friends have quit vlogging and things like that. And for their own personal reasons, and I get that, that's fine. Um, for us, I don't know that I can stop because this vlogging maintains who I am. It um, keeps my sanity at a normal level. Um, my depression isn't bad. Um, my anxiety is lower. I enjoy recording, I enjoy doing that. And so I'm not gonna stop. But at the same time, I just felt like I didn't have enough time to do Austin's slideshow. I felt like I'd been split 10,000 different ways. And um, I decided that maybe going through all those pictures were not necessarily for them, it was for me, so that I could remember who he is. Um, and that I could see the little things in Austin that. Is still there. He's just kind of grown a body now. Um, anyways, tonight I, I chose 
I was invited to go watch this first look video and I turned it down last minute because I had this slideshow I have to put together and I was finally on a roll. I felt like if I walked away, it would be harder to get back to and then everybody would be waiting on me. And so I had decided that I would do that. So I kept at it and kept at it. And of course, I'm, I've am i progressed so much more. I'm glad I did. Allie did send me a picture uh, or a, a link to this video. And I watched it by myself. <laughs> and I just got a, like a picture of their future, you know. Um, he's so respectful. And I know that that's because of Jake and how Jake treats me. And I appreciate that. Um, he's taught my boys well. He's taught my boys how to treat a woman. Um, and I appreciate that. And I am grateful that he can pass that on to Allie, that he opens doors, that he buys her flowers, that he dates her even after they're married. And he looks at her, every time he looks at her, he, he's looking at her like he's looking at her the first time. I appreciate that. And I feel like Jake has passed that down. Um, Austin is the man he is because I made a choice years ago um, to escape an abusive relationship. I didn't want to teach my boys that that was okay. Um, I wanted to teach them what love was. And so I found someone that would love me. And Jake and I, I'm sorry, I'm going to put us up on a pedestal. He's great. I don't know if I could find anybody better. Um, and he's brought my boys up well. But I want to just share how amazing my son is. <laughs> how excited I am for him. Um, he makes me happy. I'm excited to watch him be married. And um, he's moving on to the next phase of his life. And I feel old. <laughs> I feel super old. Um, I'll probably post this link of them when it's done. I'll probably replace it with probably Wednesday's vlog. I don't know. But it'll basically be them um, progressing, each of them, as they get older and when they meet and things like that. But um, I just want to do a vlog just straight forward my feelings on Austin. I love that kid with all my heart. He brings the good out in me. And... um. I'm super excited for him. I am. I support both of them, and there's nothing that they could do that would make me love them any less. So if you if you kids are watching this, Allie and Austin, I love your guts. I'm super excited for you. Anyways, um, I think that's the vlog. I think I babbled on long enough. That's not what I meant to do. But guess what? This is a one take. I'm not editing anything. So bear with me. Thank you. <laughs> you guys have a good night. Stay Lime and awesome.